toughest, toughest workout yet. So my message for today, I have to be honest, today I was really dragging to get here. I really did not feel like coming. I was kind of a little down in the dumps, not really wanting to get up and work out. But one of the things that's important to understand is your desire to reach your goal must be stronger than the struggle that it's going to take to get there. A lot of times when we set a goal in our life, there are so many obstacles and challenges that come in our way. And oftentimes those challenges are not external, but they're internal challenges. There's self-doubt, there's laziness, there's um, you just don't know what good it's going to be. So you have to quiet all of that um, mind chatter, that negative self-talk, and really begin to put positive affirmations and positive thought processes in. Say, regardless, I might not feel like getting up today, but I'm going to get up because I'm after something. And that's actually what I had to do today. And when I got here, Diana worked my butt off. Oh my gosh, it was a tough workout, but I'm glad I did it because that brings me one step closer to my goal. So basically, my message today is don't give up. Allow your desire to be stronger than the obstacles that it's going to take to get there. Love you. Is it all right overall to begin with? It's love to me. Oh, fun. How about now? Better? Mm -hmm. Good. Last one. Perfect. So have the same posture from the waist down. I put one arm on top of the other one, okay. tensing the arms, tensing the chest. Stuff. And again. So arms, you want them belly button level and you okay. want them as such. Okay. Good. That's perfect. I can't quit. I have a goal to make. I have a goal. I refuse to quit. I'm going to roll and push through this because my desire to win is stronger than the struggle it's going to take to get there. Anytime you're working on a goal, your desire has to be stronger than the struggle and the obstacles to get there. You talk too much, and that to me means the impulse is very no. low. That's what I think. Let me be quiet. Cool. That's what I think. That's what I think. Yeah. Bum. Push it out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Out. Okay. Bum is out. out. Yes. Out. Good. There we go. You feel more now. Oh. Wait for it. Nice. Last repetition. Splendid. Now, to your white stands, once again, bum is out, arms make a 90 degree angle. Put your bum. Okay. Don't let the knees go in okay. the front, bum out. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, okay. yeah she's working her bum and her legs, yeah? At your bum is out. Good, and arms 90 degrees. Keep, okay. it, so keep it solid, yeah? Okay, okay. Keep it solid 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. The resistance is obviously the resistance is more or less, or do you record the, the, the resistance that is given each time when you're training? So I increase the values a bit, mm -hmm. but I decrease the master. So it's just me and Charlie with mm -hmm. different people. Yes. We deliver the same training. Yes. But in a different manner. Okay. So would you say you're the wicked witch and he's the <laughs> yes. lovely prince? Yes, yes, I would say that stepmom, wicked witch, whatever you want to call me, I'll, I'll roll with it, not a problem to me. Charlie, he's top. Charlie trains clients first and then I take over. Last one! Yeah, yeah. Charlie, do you have any comments for that? No, no. No comment. <laughs> I get in trouble. <laughs> I get in trouble. She's training me too. <laughs> oh dear. Charlie is still alive by the way. Yeah, after Ingram, my last training, uh, oh, I had an intense one, by the way, on uh, again. a few days ago, just mm -hmm. be because I again, blew the candle forward, away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I blew the candle out. Forward, yeah, I shouldn't. Oh, yeah. Okay. We have a candle, yes. a scented candle, and I blew right. it out. Right. Yes. So there you go. I oh. had a tough one. Oh dear. Where are you from yeah. 1 to 10? Um, like a 9. Good. 9. My favorite number is actually 15. Oh, okay. <laughs> But now, I wouldn't do that to you. I still want to keep you as a friend. <laughs> <laughs> and again, 10. Good. 
Tensing the core. Perfect. Good. Ooh. And again. Nice. Last one. One hand on the machine, the other one on the temple. Soft <coughs> knees and tilt towards the hand that's on the temple. Oh my! Good! And again. <coughs> Very good. Are you able to tense the core? Hello, I'm Diana, one of the trainers at Body Street in Worthing. And the most solid tip I have for you guys this year, enjoy the time you spend with your loved ones. You're gonna overindulge. Admit it. Don't feel guilty about it. This Christmas season, just enjoy yourselves. Enjoy the food, enjoy the drinks, enjoy the sweets. Yeah, that's a good and solid tip, obviously. By the way, my name is Charlie. Um, still a trainer at Body Street. And obviously, yes, uh, spend time with your family, but don't forget about your fitness. Don't forget about your exercise. It's a whole month of Christmas parties and businesses are all having their parties done this month so uh, still attend the parties but don't forget about your fitness so i'm with diana here from the body street in worthing which is in west sussex along the coast diane what got you into being a personal trainer i used to exercise since i was a kid so me and my dad, we had a very, very close relationship. I was like the chewing gum in his hair. Wherever he went exercising, I was there. I was there since I was a child. So to me, opening this studio and becoming the person I am today and carrying on to evolve is a tribute to him and to his memory. So that, that's my motivation, that's my reason, because I know he's proud of me wherever he is now. And the body street, how did you become a part of the body street? So that's uh, all down to Charlie. Okay. We tried EMS back in our country, in Romania, like five years ago, mm -hmm. and Charlie really enjoyed the type of workout because it's quick and it's very efficient. Mm -hmm. When we moved into the UK, two years ago, he started to look for a body street studio and he found one in Milton Keynes. We went there, tried it, loved it, became clients, and throughout the process, we decided we want to have one of our own. So. That's the story. We have one. So why Worthing? Why did you choose Worthing as a place for you to... Um, ten years ago, I visited Brighton for the first time and it impressed me so much. It had such a good vibe and I said to myself, I'm going to move here one day. So that's what I did. I moved to Brighton and we opened the studio in Worthing because it was more accessible price-wise and we think this is a very good marketplace. What do you love about Worthing? I like the seaside and I like the people. Okay. I like the people I'm working with because you can bound with them and we have a very good relationship with the customers and they're very warm. What do you do, Diane, to chill out when you're not at the body street? And so my Sundays are the only days off. What I like to do is either jog on the seafront from Brighton to Hull or just to stay on the seafront, on the blanket, with a nice book and something to drink. Uh, in the winter? Yeah, don't matter. As long as it's not raining. If it's raining or anything, I like to read. I like to be home in my bed to read with a book of coffee. Well, so what book are you reading at the moment? So, at the moment, I'm reading a book from Grand Cardone, which is called Ten Times Rule. And this is an amazing book because it tells you that you need to take massive actions if you want to have massive goals and massive achievements and I think I'm learning so much for it, from it and I'm going to project ideas that I'm learning from it into my 2019 goals. So it sounds to me as if if you want something you never had before you've got to do something you've never done before. Yes. So if you want to be great you need to act great. Yep, you've got to act it, see, be, believe it, become it. Diana, the difference between ES, EMS training yeah. and general gym workouts. So, an EMS training can offer you a full body workout with us in just 20 minutes. If you want to exercise all of your muscles in the gym, it will probably take you more than two hours if you want to do a proper workout. Okay, so the benefits of EMS? Benefits are plenty. 
and I can tell you just the surface ones at the moment because benefits are individual to each person. So what seems normal to you, maybe to another person, might seem like a miracle. If for you it's very easy to stand up in bed on your bum, maybe for somebody else it's magic because they haven't done it for years and years. So among the surface benefits, you can get muscle tone, fat burn, uh, improving your posture, in improving your mood. You can correct, you know, uh, modern diseases like osteoporosis or arteriosclerosis. So it really helps. If you have back pain, it helps with the back pain as well. So these are just basic results, basic surface ones. Because as I said, for some people, other things can come back. It can help with your gut motility. When you have digestion problems, I have a client who reported that to us, that she doesn't struggle with her stomach anymore. And yeah. Why work out for hours if 20 minutes is all it takes? Charlie, 20 minutes? Really? Yes, indeed. 20 minutes. Well, it always comes down to time under tension. Okay. So you need to have constant tension on the muscles for them to grow okay. and our workout enables you to to work out each muscle group at the same time okay it saves you a lot of time by going to the gym and work out each muscle group individually right you'll end up probably just walking around the gym uh, taking a few pictures uh, go and have some water and um, not a lot of workout in that one hour and a half. Okay. You, you cannot escape from here. Once you're plugged in, you're in the suit, you cannot escape.